welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today is the first official day of fall, so for me, that's when I kick off another round of deep cleaning like I do in the spring. I'm not going too far in just yet, but today I'm gonna clean some of the appliances and do some of the areas that I forget around my house as well as I do have some fall theme recipes that I'm throwing in this video as well. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Stick around and let's get started. The first thing on my list is my errands. I'm just gonna go ahead and knock that out real fast, get all that done, and then I will get back and start with all the cleaning. Back home, got Dunkin' Pumpkin, and we had to go to Aldi, but this is one reason why I get decaf, because she's a fiend. Let's do a quick rundown of this. We were out of apples and crockpot liners. That was one of the main reasons that we had to go. The kids love these when I put them on the Hocus Pocus platter. I got some more veggie straws. We're trying the apple chip. Uh, this just looked good. There's their pumpkin cinnamon rolls. I needed more of this for my coffee creamer. Some pink Himalayan salt. I saw this and I was like, oh yeah, that's coming home. So. I don't know if that's any good, but I'm gonna try it. More crackers for the kids. I was almost out of vanilla. This was one of the other main reasons we went. I need this for dinner tonight. I love pierogies, never tried theirs, so we are. Tristan wanted to try the apple coffee. This he also loves, those are for him. That sounded really, really good to me. Declan plays with reusable straws. I don't really know why, but they had these, so I picked them up. And then I just couldn't resist this for Hunter when he gets his bath. We come home from the store and she needs a drink. But there's crazy kitty. I put all the stuff from Aldi away, got all that handled. Gwen's watching some cartoons real fast. So I'm gonna get started in the kitchen. I do have just a few dishes in here, but that is all from this morning and breakfast. This all I have to put away. That is from last night, but I don't have anything in the dishwasher because that's one of the things I'm gonna clean. I had the equivalent to this for the dishwasher and I cannot find it to save my life, but I need to get this out anyways because I even skipped August on my washing machine. So I am going to deep clean the, the washing machine today for September and for the start of fall, but I can't find my A-Fresh, but I do have a way to clean that still. So first things first, you need to actually find where your filter is. Mine is actually hiding in there. So I'm gonna take all that out, clean it, put it back, and then I can put the vinegar in. And to show you what I'm gonna do here, this is just a glass dishwasher safe bowl. I'm gonna put somewhere between a half a cup and a full cup of just some white vinegar in here. And then you're gonna find wherever it will fit in your top rack, like mine fits right there in the center. And that's where I'll put that to run a cycle. Since the vinegar's out, I'm gonna take a second bowl and I'm gonna go ahead and clean the inside of this thing because like the door is really gross and then you can see all of that in there. It just really needs to be done. Honestly, both of my machines can use a deep clean and I'm going to do that 
and I'm gonna show you what I mean here in a second. But these things are crazy simple. It's just one of these little tabs and you open it up and you put it into the drum of your washer and then you just run your washer on your clean cycle and you do this once a month and this whole thing, it has five of them in here, so five months. And this thing I think was like $9 I wanna say. But this is what I mean when I say that they both need a deep cleaning. Like, there's so much dust and stuff in all of the hinges. The glass needs to be clean. All of it needs to just be clean. But then, when I was opening it up and really paying attention yesterday, that is just gross. I'm not even sure what that is. And now, before I even show you this, I don't put bleach in my clothes in anything like that. So I never pay attention to this little slot and look in there. That is disgusting. So that I have to clean too but I'm gonna run the cycle first and then I'll come back and clean this part and all of it, including the outside of both. You got that something, baby, that I can go without just like a poison in me. You're all that I'm about. Loving the highs, don't mind the lows. Ignore the very noisy dishwasher that I've got going, but I want to talk to you real fast about the cleaner that I'm going to use on my countertops. I like using the Mrs. Meyers stuff because of the smell. Their pumpkin spice gags me. I'm just going to be honest with that. But when I was searching for fall cleaners with Grove this year, I saw this one and it is pumpkin spice by their company and it's the concentrate. I use their orange one over summer, so I'm gonna try this one today.
be scared You will see me flying high I'm staring into your blue eyes Dishwasher's done. So let's take a little look-see, because I do want to show you when you clean it, see this bottom line right here? All of that is all the stuff that the vinegar broke down, so you are going to want to wipe that again, but otherwise it should be completely clean in there. Another thing, be careful when removing that, because unless you wait for this to cool completely, that's going to be really hot to take out of there. The apples are almost done soaking. I'm going to take them out and get them dry. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some lemons down here with a little bit of ice. I know it doesn't sharpen them. I've had people tell me that. But it is just to get all the gunk off of the blades and to freshen that up a little bit. And I'm going to try and clean my coffee pot. Just got the kids home from school and that's what I was waiting for to do one of the sweet treats which Gwen is back there just infatuated with and I'm going to show you what it is. And how you can tell that Aiden is home from school because the dog immediately wants to go outside and will not stop until Aiden takes him. If you've been around my channel for a while you know that every Halloween I make bark. The kids look forward to it every year. So this year we're using sprinkles, the eyes like we always do. M&M's, some random assorted chocolate candies. I'm just using some semi-sweet chocolate chips. You can use any base you want to. And then these are some Halloween pretzels that I found. The easiest thing to do this, especially if you're gonna let the kids help you, once you melt the chocolate, parchment lined baking sheet to pour it out onto and smooth it out. And then take whatever toppings you're gonna use and put them in little bowls so the kids can just place them. I kind of put the eyeballs together on the thing so they look like a pair of eyes. But I've opened up the pretzels, made sure none were broke. They're little pumpkins and bats, they're so cute. And then I will cut these up into either thirds or quarters depending on how big or small you want them. This is what making bark with children looks like. Obviously you don't need it all over the place like this. And this is Gwenny's corner where she just kept throwing things, but I mean either way the kids really like it. It's got a bit more than I would put on there, but either way they'll be happy. Alright, I want to show you guys. Gwenny, show them. What are you? I'm Gwenny? No, what is this? I'm what? You're a witch. Yeah, I found these at Marshall's over the weekend. It's a little mommy and me set. I couldn't find two, otherwise I would have bought them and just gave the adult to my mom and this other one to Brie. But now the girl's got to share until I can hopefully find another one. But I just think they're so cute. Do you like it? I like it. You like it. Now you can either refrigerate that for about an hour or two just until you can break it apart. That's what you're looking for. But if you do that, you will get condensation across the top from it being in the fridge. So I just leave it on my counter for several hours and then we'll start breaking it apart. But if you don't have that time, you can just stick it in your fridge or your freezer, but just know that you will get condensation. The kids ran off, so I'm cleaning the kitchen, i.e. using the leftover chocolate and the pretzels and having my own little snack. You and me, yeah, that's all I need and I'll be all right. When cleaning the coffee pot, just make sure to run two full cycles of just plain water to get all the vinegar taste out of there. And also, when you're pouring the water back in, 
Make sure it's not set to brew, otherwise it'll do that. And then just wash the pot, the lid, the filter, everything in some hot soapy water to get any of the rest of the residue out. First things first, there's a bunch of stuff right up here and the glass looks really gross, but look down into there. All of that, that got cleaned out. And it does say to wipe out any debris, so I do have to wipe all that out. As long as I can be here with you, everything's all right. Now let's talk about dinner. I like to have a, you know, a fall themed dinner if it's gonna be the first day of autumn. So I'm gonna share with you guys the really simple one I'm doing tonight. Here is everything I need for dinner. That's just some garlic bread I'm gonna make at the end. And otherwise, just some seasonings to make this more flavorful. But this is all I need. Every year in fall, I go for one massive trip to Trader Joe's, and this sauce right here is delicious. And I'm just gonna cook this up like I would almost like a meat sauce for spaghetti with that and some noodles. I will say you do not have to use ground turkey or ground chicken. I just prefer poultry with that sauce, but again, you can use sausage, you could use hamburger meat, whatever you want with that sauce if you pick up a bottle. I just personally prefer either ground turkey or ground chicken. This particular jar of sauce can be very thick, so if you don't like that and you wanna thin it out some, just make sure to keep some of your pasta water before you drain it and then you can add that in over there. So all I do is throw the sauce and the pasta together and serve it like that. A Little bit of shredded Parmesan over the top, that works really yummy too. And then some garlic bread, but that's dinner and it is pumpkin and butternut squash, so it does fit for fall. And there it is plated. My daughter just asked if it's pumpkin, I say no. I don't believe you. That's what I get told, but there's what it looks like all nice and plated. I want a piece with everything in there. I want a piece with everything in there. That one. Move on to the actual pumpkin dessert for today. These are just the items that you're going to need. Just some salt, just pumpkin pie spice, vanilla, a whole can of pumpkin, three eggs, some sugar, and then the top of it is just flour, cinnamon, butter, some of the salt and some of the sugar, but I'm not putting those together over there. And you do need heavy cream. If you do not have heavy cream for every one cup of it, three quarters of a cup of 2%, and then a third of a cup of melted butter mixed together, once they're both cooled, works. The ingredients for this are basically one entire can of pumpkin, one cup of granulated sugar, three eggs, and yes, my little assistant is gonna help me along the way, two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice, a half of a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and then it is two thirds of a cup of the heavy cream. I screwed up and I used a full cup. I did not notice a difference, but that could have been why my topping wasn't as crumbly. So it is two thirds of a cup of the heavy cream. But whisk all the ingredients together before adding the heavy cream and then whisk that in separately before you pour all of it into a greased baking dish. You could use a 13 by nine, a cast iron pan. It really doesn't matter however you want, but the thickness is what you have to be concerned about when you're baking it. It will increase your time the thicker your batter. Fall 
For the topping, it is two cups of flour, a cup and a half of sugar, which this was really sweet by the way, so you could probably cut that back to a cup if you wanted to, or keep it at the cup and a half. A stick and a half of melted butter, half a teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of cinnamon. You're gonna beat that together with like a stand mixer, hand mixer, whatever you want until it's a crumbly consistency, and then just sprinkle it all over the top of this thing. Bake it at 375. Mine took almost an hour, it took about 55 minutes, but start checking yours depending on thickness, stick a knife in it, and when it comes out clean, it's done. This dessert was phenomenal, straight out of the oven and the next day cold out of the refrigerator, delicious. We only had whipped cream to put on it, but if we would have had vanilla ice cream, I think it would have been even better, but this thing was perfect. Fast forward a couple hours, it is now time for me to get my house picked up before bed. I've already changed into my pajamas, loading the last few dishes I had into the dishwasher before going ahead and starting that. Putting away any leftovers from dinner or that dessert, that pumpkin pie crisp, I cannot recommend that more. It was absolutely perfect and I'm thinking about making it into the Thanksgiving rotation this year, that's how good it was. But then I'm just going to read the girls a book, put Declan to bed, put all the kids to bed, and go relax. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Good night. And as my girl's book for the night says, happy fall, you guys. <laughs>